Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd rahabat fi Allah Jannah is a straight is a steep path and of course it's a siratullah al-mustaqim it requires istiqamah and straightness in order to get to paradise and it's a difficult path and the hellfire is easy to attain it's easy to get because jannah requires sacrifice and often those things which are difficult and some things we may not even may not be beloved to us and the hellfire requires ease and laziness things you can do by just following your desires following what you want engaging in the activities that you love and desire your hawa an abi huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu anna rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qaal hujibat an-nar bi shahwat wa hujibat al-jannah bil makarih mutafaqun ruahu bukhari in this hadith in sahih al-bukhari the hadith of Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala an in which he said that the hellfire is veiled or covered by desires and the paradise is covered or veiled by that which you find difficult or detest أحبت في الله أنظر إلى هذا حديث النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وتأمله. Reflect on this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم because it illustrates for us that when we chase our desires, for example, the one who enjoys zina and indulges and engages in zina as a regular activity that they are involved in engaged in and they immerse themselves in in the various ways that they can be doing it just following their desires instead of taking the halal path instead of looking for halal ways instead of really desiring halal ways this is easy it's easy to get a girlfriend it's easy to get two three four of them it's easy for people to experiment and try all of the and try different things all of this is in accordance with desires and hawa and shahwat and all of this leads to jahannam whereas the one who prays five day, daily prayers just simply as simple as that that's an expiation of your sins that brings you closer to jannah that's your act with allah azza wa jal you know your prayer that distinguishes you from that makes you uh, from the people of ahl qibla and ahl iman but that takes sacrifice that means regardless of the job that you have regardless of the station in life that you have whether you're a king whether you are a queen whether you're a president whether you're a businessman whether you're a surgeon whether you're a doctor whether you're an engineer whether you're a garbage man that all of us have to pray to Allah Azza wa Jal buni al islam ala khams shahadatan la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammadar rasulullah wa tuqim al salah islam is built on five and it's the shahadatain and it's established in the prayer along with the other pillars of islam it's a pillar of islam and with that being the case it can be difficult it's not always easy you're shopping in the souq and the prayer time comes in you're at work maybe you work in a non-muslim environment so no one is conscious of the salat and you have to find time find a place in order to pray to Allah azza wa jal maybe you are somebody like a surgeon you have operations you have or a fireman or something you deal with emergencies and so forth so you still are required to pray and facilitate that as islam has facilitated it wallahi alhamd so all of those activities require us to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they require some mushakka they require some difficulty so the believer 
is vigilant in that because those are the things that bring a person closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they, re they require difficulty but yet they are the path to Jannah. Likewise, or on the other hand, those things which bring you further away from Allah that go in accordance with our desires and we want to do it our way, that those things take you to the knob. وَعِيَّاذٍ بِاللَّهِ وَعِيَّاكُمْ مِنَ النَّارِ وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَمَ عَلَى نَبِيَّةِ مُحَمَّدٍ